Well, try on the idea that you go through life with a myriad of unfinished business on your mind. Unanswered emails, the frayed edges of old friendships, soured emotions in relationships, regrets about career, anger and anxiety and numbness about the mountain of things you're getting over, getting past, promising you'll get back to, or finally take on, and all of it mangled into the stress and survival of the life you're currently trying to wade through to some sort of success or happiness. Your capacity for taking life on, the kind of mental space required for you to be your greatest, most effective self, is compressed and squeezed into whatever scraps of room you have available in your head after all that other shit has had its way with you before it retreats to the vast and luscious piece of prime real estate it occupies in the recesses of your mind. And it will be back. Oh yeah, that shit isn't done with you yet. It's like a pot of water that boils, then cools, then boils, then cools, then boils repeatedly, and the only peace of mind you get is when the heat is off. When it's on? Oh dear. That last argument with your sister? It'll be back. Your fear of writing that book. Hello, I'm over here. Your credit report? <coughs> Car loan application. Your shitty childhood. Your lack of purpose. Your ex. Your body shape. Your dad, mom, boss, dead dog. Whatever you might think you're momentarily okay with or getting over or trying to forget will come up out of nowhere and give you the old back of the hand every now and again just to keep you in line. Wine. Yeah, that's the answer. Uh, no. What we're doing here. I don't do things the way everyone else does them. And with this book, I wanted to give you something different. Something that was a little more in line with my urban philosophy approach. And that gives you a pathway to take a deep plunge into the darkness of your own little mystery of life. If you've read Unfuck Yourself once or a million times, or even just read some quotes on Instagram, this will sound familiar to you. But it's easy to read something and then go on to the next thing in our day and forget about that great thing you read that maybe just could change your life. So in this book, I've broken life down into some simple key elements. In Unfuck Yourself, I showed you how it's often the conversation that we're in with ourselves, the negative self-talk, that keeps us making the same bad choices over and over and over. I gave you seven simple-to-use pathways to interrupt the negative self-talk. The seven assertions, remember? Here, you'll get the opportunity to dive in and get to the bottom of some of your most important stuff to put a doorstop in that negative conversation, to finally forge a clear pathway to the life you're after. Wouldn't it be great if you could reveal the things that are going to make the most difference, the kind of things you could easily point to and declare, yep, I unfucked myself there. We're going to dive headlong into the shit pile and focus specifically on what doesn't work in your life, why it doesn't work, really, and what it's going to take from you to turn this around. And that's what makes this workbook so different. It's not a planner. Use your phone or the calendar hanging up in your parents' kitchen for that stuff. And yes, it's that easy to plan shit. This isn't some kind of inspiration handbook. If you need a quick jolt of wake the fuck up, pick a random chapter of Unfuck Yourself and plow in. You'll have more inspiration than you can handle. I'm also not out to have you take on yet another complex strategy for winning at an already complex life. This isn't the three, five, seven secrets to success or some corny acronym you'll need to remember every time you get out of bed. And no, WTF doesn't mean wise, talented and fantastic. For what it's worth, I'll never write a book about the three steps to happiness, for instance mainly because I'm pretty convinced two of those steps are pizza and a martini. Here you will simply answer questions. Lots of them. I've taken so many people through questions just like these and seen how when the person really takes the time to answer...